Hey everyone, Dan Saavedra here. In this video, we have our Salesforce specialist at MergerData.com, Maria, go over a quick demo account that we set up for Salesforce to kind of show you all what the possibilities are in terms of Salesforce being used for manufacturers specifically. So hopefully you like this walkthrough and you can find some useful tips from it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team. You can contact us at support at MergerData.com. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Maria, and today we will be going over a Salesforce instance that's designed for the manufacturing industry. Let's start with the homepage. The homepage is the first thing you see once you log in into your account. And it is fully customizable, so I have chosen to display a dashboard that is a combination of reports within the system, and as well as some useful components on the right side, such as the assistance, items to approve, today's tasks and today's event. Now, this is a uh, instant that is filled with dummy data. So most of these will be empty, but they are really useful in real life scenarios for the productivities of your team. The rest of the objects are easily accessible from the navigational menu on when you click on this little arrow here. And next we will be going on to the account. Once we move on to the account page, we will be redirected to this screen here where we have, we would be having a list of all the accounts that are um, displayed into the system or they can be under our name. This filter can be fully customizable. Currently we're seeing the most recent, recently viewed accounts, but as you can see, we have several lists available. I'm going to be using this account for this demonstration. And as you can see, here is where all of your prospects, once they are converted, they will be assigned this type of account layout. On this page here, you will find all the information for your client, such as what is the, the type of your client, the phone number, their website, which of your team members is managing this account, what is their industry. This is also known as the highlight panel. And here you can see the related objects that we have for this specific account. The beauty of Salesforce is that as well as the homepage, this homepage, this page is also fully customizable. So what you see here, the, the components, they can be swapped places or different components can be shown in their place, but for the simplicity of it, I chose to show all of the details regarding that account on the left side here. And um, on, the, on the right side, we have a placeholder. This is here just for the ability. So, so you know that this is possible within Salesforce. Whatever text you wanna be written can be shown here. I created also a simple screen flow enables you a creation of an opportunity. And we will talk about that a little bit later. I am showing the full expected revenue based on the, all the opportunities that are open under this account. And then here is a really cool Salesforce feature called chatter. This is where your teammates can communicate. They can post updates regarding this account. They can, as you can see, they can ta tag other teammates or they can choose to post a poll or like kind of like a question if they have regarding this account and so on and so forth. A really cool feature for communication of your team members. Next, I will be talking about the opportunities and the opportunities are the things that allow us to pursue a sale within Salesforce. The opportunities in Salesforce are just that opportunities to get something more out of the client. So for example, whether if it's an upsell or the customer wants to order something new from us, we open an opportunity and that's how it's getting tracked into the system. For an example, an opportunity can be created in several ways. One of them would be to hover over the opportunity related record and then click on new, just as it is, it is here. Or you can use a custom flow designed like I have here, which is called a screen flow in Salesforce. 
and you can add all the information necessary to add the opportunity. This is a very simple example that takes all, only the name of the opportunity, the stage, and the close date that I have chosen. Of course, you can add different informations here. It's fully customizable as much as everything in Salesforce. So let me go ahead and just create this opportunity. If I click on next, it will get a screen that's saying the opportunity is created. And once we go to the opportunity, it shows us all of the existing opportunities. And here we have the one that I have created. The opportunity object is much like the account object. We can see that it has the highlight panel and the related list as well. The layout is very similar. We have the account that it's connected to it. We can see a lot of information in Salesforce, even by just hovering over, over it. And here in the overview, we have the most important fields that we would like to populate, for example, like which, which bay this is going to be, or which machine is, is, is it going to be worked on? such as the, the order number, for example, or the tracking number, if we have it. But as well, we can also see that under the details tab, we can see at all the possible um, options that the salesperson would have to populate prior to close winning the opportunity. The next thing would be adding the products. We can add the products by just clicking on add a product where we choose which price book we want to use. Let's say that I will add this product right here and I will add a quantity of 20 items and I want them, let's say by the end of the month, I'm going to just write test here and I'm going to save it. So now that we have added our product that goes into the data is it is logged under the product object and we can basically mark this several, this stage is completed. As you can see, the stages are, these stages are also totally customizable. So I will just go ahead and close this as closed one. And what that will do is once we have an, we can have an automation that something happens here. And as in this case, it has opened a case. And as we can see, based on the information that we have provided onto the opportunity, it immediately knows what kind of element it, it, it needs and what kind of machine it's going to be worked on and so on and so forth. So the thing about cases is that your inside team will be working on these. And most of the cases are like pretty much like the account go under a list. And here I have created a standard engineering team queue case, open cases, and it shows all of these cases that are under the engineering team queue. They can be assigned to a person or that one person can be assigning them to the team so they don't have to worry about, about them while they're working. Once we go into the case, we can see that it's pretty much consistent as the rest of the objects. And we have the head, the highlight panel here, the related objects. We have some case comments. The, the great thing is that if you have several teams working together on one case, you can add them under the case team with their roles, such as the salesperson, if you want to keep them in, t in, in the loop with where this case is headed or how's it going. So here just as easily, once it's, it can be working, escalated completed once it's done. Like I said, this is all fully customizable and currently it is a dummy data. All of this is everything in Salesforce leads up back and fills up with it's covered by reporting and dashboards, of course. And as we can see, we have several dashboards here. We have the sales KPI dashboard. We also have like an executive overview dashboard. We have a case, basically case and contact quality. So you can measure very different things. The, 
the sales dashboard is the one that we saw in the beginning. We saw that we can have the, the total revenue of all the opportunities that we have. We can see all these different metrics and statistics. If we click into a report of a dashboard, we can see a more detailed section of what's happening. For example, here we have a split between the existing and new customers of the opportunity. And the detailed row here is hidden, but we can see by basically by each month, close month, how much we have had them in comparison. And we can also open it up the detail row and see which one opportunity is, which opportunity is linked to which account and as you can, who's the opportunity owner. And of course, these are all links and clickable that will lead to the, to the given opportunity. The dashboard in Salesforce are really pretty. They are very clean. As you can see, we have the dark mode and, and the light mode, which gives us a lot of creativity to showcase things that we would need to see. For example, here we have the, the executive overview of how many open cases we have, what are the new cases, how many cases are closed by rep, what's the average handle time of an open case that, that would take, for example, the team to complete this. Salesforce also has the opportunity of creating quotes as well, which would be like a document that will be happening over from the opportunity object. And once that quote is generated, it basically, you add the products to it. It kind of has its own path, like an opportunity and it, it generates a document that you can later email to your customer. And if they accept that quote, it will add on and sync with the opportunity. I hope you found this demo useful and thank you for following me around.